Welcome to the homework for lesson 19. This is module 4 of grade 1. Write your name here first. We're doing some word problems and this is the beginning of the introduction of tape diagrams which is going to be everybody's favorite method to use to draw and solve, to draw pictures to solve word problems. In, uh, in third grade we use them a lot to divide and multiply. In second grade we use them a lot to add and subtract. And they work great for working with larger numbers. And it's just a really, there's a lot of things you can do with them that you can't do with other kinds of math pictures. So this is just the first introduction to them. And there's an example of it right here. The method we use for solving all word problems is first we read the problem. Then we draw some kind of, usually it doesn't always have to be a tape diagram, but for this homework assignment it does. Uh, it will draw some kind of a picture, a math picture or a tape diagram, and label it. And then we're going to write a number sentence and a statement that matches the story. Now the statements for first grade, a lot of them, they're already written. We just have to fill in the blank. But we do need that number sentence too. So we need that. We have to have the tape diagram and the labels. So the labels are going to be these numbers. And or sometimes letters to show what parts go with what parts of the story. So let's just get to the first one. Darnell is playing with his four red robots. Ben joins him with 13 blue robots. How many robots do they have all together? All right, so let's see. We'll just draw what it says there is in the order we read it. Darnell is playing with four red robots. So I've got one, two, three, four. And this is a piece of tape that is four long because it has four red robots on it. And this is Darnell's robots, D. And Ben joins in with 13. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we have a 10 group, and then, so now this piece of tape is 13, and that's Ben's. And this is 4, and this is 13, and the whole thing together, you can count it, 13 plus 4, or you might just look at the 1's here, and think 3 plus 4 is 7, and however you do it. 17, 4, plus the 13, equals 17. They have 17 robots. That's it. That's the tape diagram. Those are the labels. And uh, this idea here says that from this end to that end there is 17 units, 17 things that we counted, or 17 long. Rows and, and notice that see how the, the 4 is shorter than the 13 because 13 is bigger. Rose and Emmy had a jump rope contest. Rose jumped 14 times and Emmy jumped 6 times. How many times did Rose and Emmy jump? So, okay, Rose jumped 14 times. I'll draw that first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. One, two, three, four, and I'm drawing the ten as uh, empty circles, and then the four more for the fourteen in filled-in circles, just just so I can see the the tens and the ones are they're different. That they're that this section here that that's ten. You know that this part here is ten, and that's the four more. Just so I, it helps me see that I, I, and sometimes I can use it to add to 10. So this is Rose's jumps, and it's 14 times. And now Emmy has six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you may notice four and six. That's six. And so from that end all the way to that end, when you put the two together, 
14 plus 6 equals, and you may notice that 4 and that 6 make 10, so you're really just adding two 10s together. They jump 20 times. And that's what a tape diagram is supposed to look like. Oop, I, I left out Emmy. There, label Emmy's jumps E. Pedro counted the airplanes taking off and landing at the airport. He saw seven airplanes take off and six airplanes land. How many airplanes did he count altogether? So he saw seven take off. T, these are the ones he took that took off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know, my, actually, it might be better, now that you've seen me do that and mess it up, it might be better to draw the circles first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I know how much tape to put around it. That's seven taking off. And then six more land. Uh, that's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. You don't have to do this thing with the open circles and the filled in circles. That's six. And those are the ones that are landing. L. But I just did this because I know that seven, this seven, and those three will make a ten. So I can see 10 and 3 more. But if you just write this 7 plus 6 equals 13. Pedro counted 13 airplanes. You've got everything you need. Got to have those labels. Oh, one more. From end to end, when you put them together, it's 13 in the picture. Tamara and Willie scored all the points for their team in their basketball game. Tamara scored 13 points, and Willie scored 5 points. What was their team's score for the game? Now, the two players scored all of the team's points. So, there's only going to be two players we're going to draw here. Tamara, or Tamra. Uh, oops, I'm doing, drawing the tape again before I draw the dot. So, let me fix that. One, two, for the 13, I'm going to draw the 10 first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. That's Tamara's point total, 13. And Willie has five more. One, two, three, four, five. Those are willies. And together they add up to 13 plus 5. You may look at this and see if you know 5 plus 3 is 8. You add it to the 10, you get 18. Which is exactly what you get when you look at the picture, right? Because you have, you have these 10 and then 8 more. And I almost forgot. I gotta write the 18 in here and finish the finish the answer statement. The team score was 18 points.